best he could do. He might be in trouble here. If he can get thin enough. Ronnie, is, as he looks at the table there, he knows he might be in behind the black. Oh, he's going to can on the black. Still a good safety, though. Oh, that's a useful nudge on the yellow. If the red keeps running, that is. Just, you just can't believe how both semi-finals have finished today. The tension, incredible. Brilliant. He is granite. about this for an outcome a hit and hope and I'll tell you what what an outcome he's had there he just was relying on a bit of good fortune he, and has he had good fortune outrageous this is outrageous This would be some shot here. Coming off the side cushion, and he's trying to kick the red from behind. If anybody could pull it off, it's Mark Selby. That is absolute genius. What a shot. And Ronnie tapping the table. You won't see a better shot than that. Uh, calling all pockets here, though. Restraint. Oh, wow, this is just unbelievable. Absolutely unbelievable. What next, Dennis? Well, I've never enjoyed a dead snooker like it. I watched the other semi final last session back at the hotel. I was on the edge of the sofa, and now to commentate on this it's just doesn't get any better this is incredible stuff you can play this word but the danger if you get a little double kiss you can just leave the red over the middle pocket Or the cue ball can hit the left-hand side of the red as he looks and catch the jaw of the middle pocket and come back. So this is not easy for Mark Selby. That was the problem there. But what a tough red up into the corner pocket. It's frame and match ball.
It's there, it's there. An absolutely wow. incredible pressure pot. And that, you would feel, will get him into the final. What a match these two players have provided. Not quite over just yet. Three. But it won't be long, you feel. Five. Every credit to Mark Selby. When he led 16-14, there looked to be only one winner, but at the time I said Ronnie O'Sullivan can come out and win three frames in a matter of half an hour. He had a 138 Twelve. clearance. Then he had a 70-odd break. And this is the first 70. time that he's beaten Mark Selby at the Crucible Theatre. What an absolute semi-final. This has been two great, great champions. Mark congratulates Ronnie. An unbelievable comeback from the rocket, Ronnie O'Sullivan. And somehow he's got himself into tomorrow's final.